Hey what's good I'm Sadia and I've just bought the Apple MagSafe charger so I'll be unboxing it and then doing a charging speed test. So it comes in a nice compact box and as you can see the back of the box shows that it has a USB-C connector. It's also showing a 20 watt power adapter. In true Apple style the box is made easy to open. It's got this little arrow on it and you just pull it off. Nice and easy, a very clean open. This is obviously the MagSafe charger and let's get the paperwork out. And as standard, it's just the safety information that they have to add from a legal and compliance point of view. There's also the warranty summary, but does anyone actually read these? I mean, I know they have to put these in the packaging, but it feels like a waste of paper. Why not just have one piece of paper with a QR code on it so that we can scan it and read the info digitally if we need to. But anyway, moving on. Nicely packaged by Apple. I wouldn't expect anything less from them, to be honest. You can see how they've secured the cable nicely, so I'll be careful and I'll open it nicely. And here's the Apple MagSafe charger. It's very sleek. Would you agree? So as you will have noticed, there's no power adapter in the box, which is the new thing now with tech. You almost never get power adapters anymore. The back of the box shows a 20 watt power adapter, which you'll want to buy to power the MagSafe charger, especially if you want fast charging. I've got this 20 watt power adapter here, which I'm currently using with my other MagSafe charger. I have a stand for that one, which I use in my office space as it makes having video calls a lot easier. It's got an adjustable tilt too, so that's always a bonus. But yeah, so because the MagSafe charger has a USB-C connector, make sure that you buy an adapter that has a USB-C port, otherwise, well, it just won't connect. Oh, and if you're looking to buy the MagSafe charger, then just note that it's compatible with the iPhone 8 onwards. It's also compatible with some AirPods, as you can see here. Okay, so how fast is the Apple MagSafe charger? Time to test it out. So I've actually got this extension plug, which has a USB-C PD power delivery port, which I'm gonna be using. The MagSafe charger cable is one meter long, and I'm just leaving it on the couch here and let it charge. Right, so I started charging my iPhone 14 Pro at 4.15 p.m. and it was at 35%. By 5 p.m. it had reached 70%, so that's a total charge increase of 35% in 45 minutes. After a whole hour at 5.15 p.m., the 14 Pro's battery was at 79%. It finally reached 100% at 6.50 p.m., which means that it took the 14 Pro 2 hours and 35 minutes to get from 35% to 100%. Obviously, I didn't run this test from 0 to 100, but based on the test results, it would take approximately 3-4 hours to get the 14 Pro from 0 to 100. I think that it may have been quicker if I had used my 20 watt power adapter that connects directly to the wall, but this USB-C PD port did the job. Remember though that the results of this test will vary depending on the device that you're charging, how you're powering it as well as the device's battery capacity. As a reminder this test was for the iPhone 14 Pro using the USB-C PD port on an extension lead. I hope you found this test useful, be sure to hit the like button and drop a comment below if you did. Subscribe for more content like this and as always thank you for watching, peace. <laughs>